Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install iOS apps onto your Apple Silicon Mac. This will allow you to install iPhone, iPad and iPod Touch apps onto your Mac and it will work on all Apple Silicon devices including M1, M1 Pro and M1 Max. It's a pretty simple process, so let's get straight into it. So just before we get started into the process, I'll just show you that this is definitely an M1 based machine. So I'll go to about this Mac and you can see that this is a Mac mini running the M1 chip and it was the one launched in November last year. And you can see chip Apple M1, eight gigabytes of RAM. So this process will only work on Apple Silicon based machines. It won't work on any Intel based Macs. Now let's get started into the process. All right, so to start off, you'll need to go and open the App Store. In this case, it's just on my dock here. And then it will open the home page. So now what you can do is you can either search for the app straight away in the search menu. For example, if I want Overcast for my podcasts, I can search it there. And then it will say showing iPhone and iPad Mac app results. And you can see here, you can choose between Mac or force it for iPhone and iPad. And then you can see it's just showing up here and then you can click the download button. So that's, you can just search for any app there and if it's not showing up, be sure to filter it for iPhone and iPad apps. But you can also go to the discover tab and scroll down and then you'll see optimized for Mac with M1. They're apps made for Mac OS, but they're optimized for the Apple Silicon devices, but then you've also under that got great iPhone and iPad apps for Mac with M1 or Apple Silicon. And you'll see here that there's heaps of apps listed here. And then we can just click see all, and these are some recommended ones that work really well with Apple Silicon chips. So you can see that Overcast is listed here, but there's some other ones like Yahoo Mail, Airbnb, eBay, there's plenty of options here. For now though, I'm going to use Overcast as my example. So I can click there and then you'll see I've downloaded this before. So there's a little cloud there and I won't need to enter my password. However, if you haven't downloaded an app before and it shows like the little get icon here, uh, you'll click that and then you'll click install and it'll ask you for your password. So you'll need to make sure that you have your Apple ID handy because you'll need to be signed in with that so you can get these downloaded from the app store. So what I can do now is just click download on this app. It'll start the download process. Um, give it a moment here. That was actually pretty quick. Uh, and then you'll see it's finished downloading. The launch pad bounced up and down to signify that it's now in there. So if I open that, you can see it's now located in there. And you can also see it's now switched to open here. So we can just click open and you'll see it starts opening Overcast. So now what I'll do is I'll just quit out of the App Store. And then you'll see here that you've got Overcast working. So now you can just click Add Podcast and do whatever you want in the app. So yeah, this is pretty standard now um, for any app so this will work just like it does on iPhone and iPad and we can just choose to allow or disallow notifications here I'll just allow them for now so yeah that's a really easy process on how to get iPhone and iPad apps on your Apple Silicon Mac and just be aware this only works on Apple Silicon it won't work with any of the older Intel based machines so yeah, hopefully this was a nice and easy process for you to follow and you've had some great success with downloading your favorite iOS apps onto your Apple Silicon Mac. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any more videos about Apple Silicon Macs and some tips and tricks with them, how to get the most out of your machines. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.